already subscribed, welcome back my darling. And if you have not yet subscribed, you're gonna wanna because a lot like today, we are going to be testing out and giving you guys my real opinion on the $78 Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Definity Palette. We're gonna look at the colors. We're gonna swatch them. We're gonna talk packaging. We're gonna talk product. We're gonna talk the actual product. And in the end, I will let you know if this is Morgan Shea approved or not, and if it is worth 78 of your coins. Dollars, that is, not coins. 78 doll hairs. Is it worth it? Well, I already know if it is or not, but you don't. So if you wanna know, keep on watching. Jumping in here really quickly, just to be sure, please, please, please do subscribe to my channel. I have another giveaway coming and you must be subscribed in order to be able to enter or win that giveaway. Also, do be sure that you are following me below on social media. And I also do just wanna say that in the video, I am going to say that um, you should follow me on social media in order to see the swatches. But no, I do end up swatching them for you. So in case I leave that part in, I'm just letting you know here. Don't exit the video because there are no swatches. I do swatch it for you even though I really don't think you can really test a palette until you try it out for yourself. But this is the look that we did here today together. And again, enough blabbing. I know you guys hate it. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on a look. I have done everything else on my face except for my eyes and my lips. So, are we ready to dip into the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Definity Eyeshadow Palette. I purchased this on the Pat McGrath Labs website. Um, I, it was my first purchase on her website or on the website, so I got a 10% off discount. Um, everything that I've purchased Pat McGrath thus far, I've ordered off of Sephora. So this is the actual first thing that I've ordered off of her website. With the 10% coupon, I got this palette for $70. Regular price is $78. And then if you want the Highlight Duo, I believe it's $120 or 125 somewhere in between there. This palette is absolutely stunning. It has 18 shades and out of the 18 shades in this palette, you are getting three mattes and the rest are metallics. So. Are we ready to get into the palette? So first we're gonna talk about, now if you watch me, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I did a total unboxing of this last night. So all we are going to be doing today is we're kinda of go, gonna go back over that. If you want to see swatches of each individual shade, then go follow me on social media. Both are still on my page, so you can see a full breakdown of each individual shade. However, if you don't follow me, we're gonna get right on into the eyeshadow after we open it. So I do just wanna mention, because this palette, again, is $80, so I do just want to mention that the only things, the only things stamped into the actual Unicartan is what you see right here and the PML crown and crying eye. These are stamped. This is a sticker. So this whole eye, logo you see um i thought that this it looked a little different when you look at it on the um like pictures they have on instagram and everything so i was a little bit shook if that this was a sticker but it's a unicart and it gets thrown away like you know whatever when you turn on the back you have the ingredients of each individual eyeshadow and it also lets you know that you should discard this 12 months after opening. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the palette itself. Once you look at the palette itself, it looks identical to the Unicartan, including the sticker. So this is also a sticker on the palette, which that even more shooketh me because I have palette after palette after palette with the logos and different things like that. I mean, look at this one right here by Laura Lee Los Angeles. It's all, this is not a sticker. This is all actually on the palette, the, you know, highlight palette itself. 
And that glazed lit kit, I believe, was around 18 to 20 dollars, okay? And it comes basically the same as this, except Laura Lee's doesn't have a sticker. So this is a sticker. So even on the palette itself, which that I was a little shook at the bout. I'm not gonna lie, the Unicarton, mm, I don't really care. I'm not gonna keep the Unicarton. But on the palette, that kind of got me, but at the same time, I care about the product. You know what I'm saying? So I just do wanna mention that because there may be people out there that that may bother me. I could care either way. But also on the back, where you have the shade names, which like I said, I did swatch these and I think I got a little something right here. I do apologize. Um, but where you do see the shade names, this is also a sticker. And I will point out right here in the bottom corner, which I doubt we're gonna be able to see on camera or not. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell that or not. Um, yeah, right there. It is raising up, if you can see it right there. Again, that's neither here nor there for me, but I did just want to mention that, okay? Then we open this baby up. So, the this side over here is a full-length mirror, and let's go ahead and pull this plastic off because I wanted to wait until we were on camera, but uh, there's nothing like that to me in the whole wide world. I did try to clean up where I did swatch, but oh well. These are the shades. Oh my gosh, so stunning, you guys. I'm just so in love and I'm super duper excited. So let's go ahead and get into it. The only thing I'm gonna mention right here that as far as mattes that we're getting in this palette, you have a transition, um, a different shade to kind of warm up the crease and then an outer corner shade. So you do have a built-in already look when getting this palette. And of course you can base that differently. You can mix it around and make different looks. But all of these metallic shades, I'm super excited. I don't have another palette like this. The second I seen the Celestial palette on the Pat McGrath's um, Instagram, I was like, I'm buying it. Period poo. So let's go ahead and jump on in. And I think that it's only right that we base our look off of the one look that we do at least have built in. And then we'll do one of the metallics on the lid. And of course, you all will be seeing all of these metallics. I can go ahead and let you know that right now. We will be playing with this palette quite a bit. So first, I am just going to go ahead and grab a blending brush. I'm gonna grab this one right here by Morphe. And I'm going to tap into this matte shade right here on the bottom that is called Venetian Orchid. I mean, I don't think I've ever had a shade that easy to blend in my lifetime. This shade right here literally blends itself like goodness. So Ready. Can we talk about this Laura Geller highlight and Gilded Honey? Mm. Okay, next, so we can go ahead and darken up just a little bit more. I'm gonna take Vinius Void, which is this shade right here. It's like a purpley maroony brown. And we're gonna go ahead and deepen up that crease just a little bit more. take that previous brush and just go ahead and make sure that we are seamless and blended to perfection here. That's what we want after all. The final shade that we are going to use just to deepen it up even more is Major Mahogany, which is this shade right here, which is a deep, warm toned brown. And take 
that brush that we put the second shade. Just go ahead and blend these two babies. Talk about like butter, like literal butter. Guys, this is just different quality. I, I mean, it's just different quality. And I'm gonna be honest, at first, like swatch, that's why I'm saying that like swatches are so unrealistic. It is like the biggest pet peeve of life to watch someone swatch a palette and say, oh, this is trash. I'm sorry, are you gonna go and blend your mats out with your finger though? Probably not. I mean, these are literal butter and I mean, literally not sponsored. This was not sent to me. I purchased this with my own coin, sis. And, oh my God, this is so nice though. I'm just so, I'm already starting to feel myself. And this is like when you're looking like crazy. Like we don't even have lashes or anything. I'm so in love. This just makes me even more excited to for these metallic shades. Now, I am going to go ahead and do a cut crease on this look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll fast forward through that and BRB. corner again a little bit more. I am going to continue to use Major Mahogany. I just love this shade so much. So I'm just going to continue to warm that outer corner with that shade. That previous brush that we put the second shade on with and just mix those two together. Oh my god. When I tell you all that blending this is like a dream. Okay, now for the remainder of the look, there is one shade that when I saw it, I was like, wow. Wow, well actually there's more than one. There's probably like five, but this is the first one that I'm gonna try with this look in particular right here. And it is this shade right here, Violet Void. So beautiful. Some other really beautiful shades is this one right here, which is Electron. We also have Galactic Gold right here. We also have um, Smoked Amethyst, which is this one right here. Dragonfly, which is pulling gold, but it's really like a greeny, purple, just beautiful shade. Um, I mean, this palette is just full of them. This one right here, which is Odyssey, that one looks beautiful. So there's so many beautiful metallics in here. I'm so excited to try all these out and use them. And I have decided that after I finish the look, we are gonna go ahead and swatch them because you guys deserve the absolute most. But let's go ahead and put this shade on. I'm so flippin' excited. Let's start with the finger. Why not? This is so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Absolutely 1000% stunning. Stunning. <laughs> I mean, are you joking? And now 
I think I am gonna put just a little bit of Odyssey, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna put it over top. Oh, sweet Lord. Oh my gosh, living and breathing and gagging and resuscitating myself back to life and dying all over again. This is beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. I was about to say excuse my language, but you already know that I'll bleep that out, but oh my gosh, I just can't. This is so beautiful. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I got this. This is absolutely beautiful. So now we're gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of my eyes, my lips, and we'll be back to swatch the Celestial Definity Pat McGrath palette. really quickly you guys and talk about the new Nikita Dragon. Um, this is her new liquid lipstick. It's called Dragon Glass Matte Liquid Lip. This is in the shade Nikita. I just want to say that these are the best liquid lipsticks I have seen, la seen launched in a very, very long time. So I did just want to jump in here and say that I highly, highly, highly recommend them. They are super reasonably priced. I got the set with all of them and they are completely worth every single dime. So I will have a link to um, Dragon Beauty as well linked down below. These are DY Silk 002 lashes. I talk about these all of Z time. I love them. And for final touches, I am going to take my absolute favorite. This is Fenty Beauty in Diamond Milk. And we are going to gloss it up. So beautiful. And there we have it. So are you ready for the swatches? You're ready for the swatches. Let's get into the swatches, bitch. So starting out with Saturnalia. This is Saturnalia. There's like, there we go. Saturnalia. Next is Bronze Nebula. Bronze, Nebula, Major, Mahogany, Lunar, Champagne, Violet, Void, Gold, Standard, Second Row, Venomous, Void, Odyssey, which is the shade that we put on top of this one here, which is um, Violet Void, Odyssey, so stunning, absolutely breathtaking. Fuchsia Shock, Megabot, Bronze, this shade right here, 
so beautiful. And Electron, which is like a really pretty like violet bronze shade to the third row. Cosmic, which is this shade right here. It literally looks like fairy dust. One of the shades that I was probably most excited about, which is this shade right here, Smoked Amethyst. It's like a really pretty black with violet tint to it. It's stunning. One of the other shades I was super excited about, which is this one right here, Dragonfly. So beautiful. It's like a pinky shade with hints of green. Let me actually swatch it right here so you can see it better because it is something to be spoken about. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. It's like pink with like hints of green. Oh, so beautiful. Venetian Orchid, which was that first transition shade that we used. Very beautiful. Are y'all ready for this one? Galactic Gold. Look how beautiful that freaking is. I mean, are you even joking me? And you could literally like blend this to oblivion. Like these are top quality. And the last shade, Corruption, which has a shift to it. So literally it changes from brown to purple to a little bit of green. So stunning. Pat McGrath Labs Celestial Definity Palette. Now let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts are this. If you have the money, go purchase it. It is a great quality palette. I think the best mattes I've ever worked with and most definitely the best metallic shimmers I've ever worked with in my life. Definitely go purchase it. Please do be sure that you do subscribe before you leave. Be sure that you do give this video a thumbs up for me to review future palettes. Be sure to comment down below if there's a product that you would like me to review to test out before you spend your hard on money on something. Trust me, I'm completely unsponsored and I'm completely unbiased. But yeah, you guys, I love you all so, so very much. And until next time, bye.